Azure Ring are the first team to qualify for Dota to the International TI 2023 from the regional qualifiers after they defeated Extreme Gaming 3-1 in the grand finals of the tournament's Chinese regional qualifiers on Monday, August 21st. Azure Ray will only form back in early May as the former PSG LGD trio of Lu Somnus Yao, Yang Chalice Shani, and Su Fy Lin Sin came out of retirement in a bid to qualify for this year's iteration of Dota 2's annual World Championship tournament. Rounding out the squad were former YBB gaming standouts Lu Lu Jin and Jiang, pronounced Tian Min, and as well as veteran coach Zhang Luan M. Jijin. Azure Ray showed promise in the last leg of the 2023 Dota Pro Circuit DPC season. Finishing fourth in the Summer Tour Regional League for China and in the top eight at the Bali Major. However, they did not earn enough DPC points to earn a direct invite to TI 2023 and had to fight for their spot in the tournament through the regional qualifiers. Azure Ray blitzed through the first two rounds of the qualifiers' double elimination bracket, defeating Team Bright 2-1 before sweeping Invictus Gaming 2-0 to get their first shot at Extreme Gaming in the upper bracket finals. Despite losing the first game of that match, Azure Ray pulled off the 2-1 reverse sweep to become the first team in qualifiers' grand finals. Extreme then defeated Team Zero 2-1. In the lower bracket finals, to get a rematch with Azure Ray for a spot at TI 2023. The final started with a 46-minute slugfest, where Azure Ray pulled off a late-game comeback behind Luz Terrorblade, who finished with 8 kills and 9 assists against 3 deaths. Chalice also put up 7 kills and 14 assists against 4 deaths to add to Azure Ray's 32-24 kill lead in Game 1. Extreme were quick to strike back in a 47-minute game, two behind a perfect showing on Morphling from Daniel Ghost Chan, who finished with a clean 20 kills and 11 assists. The pivotal Game 3 of the series saw both teams neck and neck for much of the game before Azure Ray pulled ahead in the late game to take a commanding 2-1 series lead after 36 minutes of action. Lu, who was on Terrorblade for the third straight game this match, led the way with 10 kills and 9 assists on just one death. Somnus also paced Azure Ray's 34-28 kill lead with 8 kills and 8 assists on 6 deaths as Lina. While Azure Ray's core players hopped the spotlight in their first two wins, it was the support duo of FY and that played key roles as the team secured their spot in TI 2023 in a 29-minute rout in Game 4. FY on Clockwork and on a support invoker dominated the landing stage, making key rotations that heavily slowed down Extreme's course while giving Lu, Somnus, and Chalice all the space in the world. Azure Race course didn't waste the golden opportunity provided by their supports, as Lu on Morphling and Somnus on Queen of Pain proceeded to dominate in teamfights en route to the 3-1 series victory. Somnus racked up a game-high 14 kills and 10 assists on just two deaths to fuel Azure Race 40-18 kill lead in the closeout game. Lu also pitched in with 11 kills and 7 assists on two deaths. With their victory in the regional qualifiers, Azure Ray will be the second Chinese team in TI 2023, joining directly invited squad PSG.LGD. TI 2023's regional qualifiers will run until August 31st. With the competition being split into three five-day phases where two regions will compete in each phase. The qualifiers for North America and China kick off the competition and will both conclude on August 21. The qualifiers for South America and Eastern Europe will follow from 22 to August 26, while Western Europe and Southeast Asia will close things out from 27 to August 31.
TI 2023 will be hosted across multiple weekends from 12 to October 29th in Seattle, the United States. This year's tournament also features a revamp format split into two distinct phases called the Road to the International and the International itself.